In this method, this is the line x plus y equal to 1 and this is the line making an angle of 30 degree with positive direction of x axis. Equation of this line is y equal to 1 by root 3 x. This is the normal. This is the reflected ray. This is the point Q. In this method, I am going to use this property that suppose this is a reflecting surface, this is a incident ray, and this is a reflected ray. It is a property of reflected ray that this reflected ray behaves like as if it is coming from image of this point in this line. Image of this point in this line is somewhere here. I mean to say if I produce it backwards, this line will be passing through the image point of this point in this reflecting surface that is this. This property I am going to use it. And we can say this thing also that if I take the image of this point in this line, that is this point, then if I produce it, this will be passing through this point. This is the image of this point in the reflecting surface. Both the concepts are correct. Now this reflected ray, when produced backward, it will surely pass through the image of this point in this line. Image of origin in this line. It's very easy to say that the image of origin in this line will have the coordinate 1 1 without doing any calculation directly I can say. Why? See. This is x plus y equal to 1, it is 1 0, it is 0 1, this point will be 1 1, this is clearly a square, hence these two are mirror image of each other with respect to this line, therefore one point on the line is 1 1 not to you. You can easily find this point also by solving this line and this line simultaneously. This line is y equal to 1 by, by solving these two lines I get this point as root 3 upon 1 plus root 3 and 1 by 1 plus root 3. If the image point of O in this line which is 1 1, I name it as B, hence equation of AB becomes Y minus 1 is equal to slope of AB is 1 minus 1 by 1 plus root 3 upon 1 minus root 3 upon 1 plus root 3 into x minus 1 that is y minus 1 is equal to root 3 upon 1 into x minus 1 hence to find the coordinate of the point q we put y equal 0 i get x equal to 1 minus 1 by root 3 Hence, I get the point Q as 1 minus 1 by root 3 and this is equal to 2 by 3 plus root 3 which I, I just proved. Hence, I can say second choice is correct.